Hello everyone and welcome back. It's me, Department here. I'm so glad you could join me for another video today, guys. I'm back in Titan Simulator today. The game just came out. You should check out the video I just released. And today there's already another update. A new world, the Chaos World is here, guys. So I'm gonna show you my progress, what I've been doing, my pets, my weapons. Then we're gonna go unlock the Chaos World, give it a check out and see how strong the swords, the mobs, the pets can be and all that juicy stuff. There's also a new code that's going to help beginner players out. Now, I don't know if it's going to help any players that have been playing, but it is a decent code. The code is launch. So you can go ahead and I believe if you go to the shop and you scroll all the way down, click the redeem button by the Twitter bird there, type in launch and that will give you some event or not, not event. It'll give you currency. I think it's only 500 trophies or something like that. So nothing too crazy guys nothing too crazy so i've pretty much been grinding the winter world here whatever it's called and getting pretty strong guys as you see i have a silver level one legendary snowman and a bunch of golden and silver epic yeti so they're really helping me out here with the power and let's go ahead and show you that so here they are right here the snowman is times 800 power guys the golden yeti times 1.2 thousand and the level one silver is times 600 for the yeti so you definitely want to go ahead and merge your pets up and get them strong but my weapons i'm using are the blizzard gladius it is the old winter blade of shadows look from giant simulator giving me 40,000 power along with its shield the tundra defender also giving 40,000 power so just to get perspective on where they are here they are here are my kills 4,000 of the easy mobs 12.5 thousand of the frost mage and over 3,000 of the hard ice mage and here they are, they're 4.8% chance to get those two. I don't need them anymore, so I x them off on my index there, guys. So that's what I'm looking like there. So I'm doing pretty good. I have at the moment, uh, I'm Rebirth Dreadnought. The next one is Juggernaut. It costs 3 AA. I should be able to get that very, very soon, guys. If I open up the server here, I have 15 Rebirths. So I'm doing pretty good on the Rebirths, guys. And here we are on the leaderboards uh, right here. Let's take a look. So my boy Johnny Dripstar has claimed the number one time played spot with one day, 10 hours, 14 minutes. Man, that's crazy. And I'm number four actually, which is also crazy at only uh, five minutes behind him. And look at this, it's so tight between everyone on the time played, pretty crazy. So for total power, I'm definitely not up there uh, too high on the top 10. But Johnny Dripstar is at 55 AB. If you scroll down one more page, I'm number 11. 25.67 is my ultimate where I am actually right now, guys. So I'm the strongest I've been in the game. That's for sure. So we want to go ahead and jump into the chaos world. So if you go to the center pylon here, here they are. All the worlds. Meadow, nature, light, ice, chaos. Every single world gets harder and harder there's recommended power for you to get there so you don't buy it and then decide that hey i can't kill anything here or buy anything <gasps> so the recommended power for the chaos is 16.6 ab and costs 800 trillion wins guys well i went above and beyond i have 25.8 ab power i did want to get a little bit stronger for this and i have way more wins than needed now i know that seems like a big number but if you just grind for a little bit get to the ice world you should be able to unlock this like every other world so that's what we're going to do here today, guys. We're also going to open up our daily gifts once we get in there. So let's go ahead and buy it right now and take us there. So 800 trillion. So at the time of recording this, guys, there's not that many players that actually unlock this badge. So earlier in the day, I could have gotten it like under the top 10, but I wanted to grind a little bit more for the video. So right now, I think I'm number 17 to unlock this world. And here we are right here. So it's a nice purple chaos world, as you might expect. It does look awesome. They do a great job with the backdrops of the game. The mobs are pretty cool, and I really like how the game works. I didn't know this, guys, but a fun fact is no matter what world you are in, uh, you're going to see players from all other worlds in here. So the way they have it is, even if I'm in chaos and you're in the starter world, I'm going to see you as if you're fighting my mobs, but actually you'll be fighting your own mobs at your own scale but I can go up and attack you. And that's really just to make the game feel alive and to actually have servers be full and lively. You know games when you go through zone to zone to zone, half the time nobody's in those zones as you're leveling. Well, in this game, guys, 
everyone in the server is going to be right here so we got the central safe zone and everything else is fair game it's pretty cool that you can actually see all the players i think that's a really awesome touch and i'm glad that i just found that out so now we have the void egg this bad boy right here costs one aa of these that is a tremendous amount but I'm sure you'll be able to get them pretty fast once you get going in here. So we have Money, Chopper, Demon, the Montu was in here, dude. Do you guys remember that from Giant Simulator? And this was the best one before the temple update and so forth. We have the Witch, which was introduced during one of the Halloween events as the Mythic Pet. And that is the best one in this. So that's a pretty cool pet as well. We'll probably buy one of those and check out the stats. But as you see here, this player is looking like they're a little bit lower level. They only have one rebirth. So they're probably in the first world still farming and they're killing this guy right here so he's not obviously killing them the water mage in my world he's killing whatever is in his world it just converts over to the water mage so i see him he sees me but we see different worlds that's confusing but crazy and i kind of dig it guys so here we are with the demon ninjas opening up the index they are the easiest ones i have zero kills on everything of course so we're gonna go ahead and give this a whirl right here we have more than the recommended power, so at 26 AB, it chunks down actually pretty decently, I'm not going to lie, it's actually faster than I was expecting. I know some players rushed in here and this took forever and ever and ever, so I said, you know what, grind the winter world a little bit more, and then you could actually come in here when you're stronger and dent these guys, make a difference, get the gains and all that. So let's see what they give when they actually do drop here. I do want to see what they do give. Then we'll go over and we will buy a pet uh, to see if we get lucky or just compare what they are with the normal pets that we have on right now from the last world. So killing him gives 32 trillion. That's not bad at all. It looks like for items, I got the Null Great Sword. It's the green one and it's 20,000. So actually the level one will be equal to my level three from the last world. So... There's some perspective. The weapons are actually pretty strong in here. And the void one I got is right here. 14,000 and that's for the worst one, guys. Just so you know. So the void dagger is 14,000. This is 20. This one's probably 26 or 30 and so forth. This is probably 40 is my guess. Something like that. So you can get pretty strong in here pretty fast. Uh, so let's go ahead and you know what? Let's actually slap that in the machine. Why not? Let's do a 10% chance. Let's go. It was unsuccessful. Of course it was. I'll get more. So let's go ahead and buy this. I want to go ahead and check out the pet with, with you guys. So I'm going to only open up one because I don't want to spend too much right now because I have to rebirth. So we're going to go ahead and click this one time. Hope something cool comes out. And, ooh, I think that's the worst pet. Is that money? Uh, It is money. Oh, no. Well, now you guys get to see at least what level the pet will be when it comes out. So money is starting out at 320 times power compared to the epic yeti in the last world which is 300 so money is better than the epic yeti but it costs a lot of money to get this bad boy Bruh. so my recommendation to you is to get super strong pets in whatever world you're comfortably farming and can get a lot of wins in get those up to silver gold because they're pretty strong when you get to the next world you're gonna have to farm and grind and get a lot of currency to actually get these pets pretty op uh, and that's really what you should be focusing on. So now that I have that, I want to actually open up all my daily gifts here and see what I get. So I got 32 trillion for that. I think it probably scales with your rebirths or whatever world you're in. So that's why I held off on this. Uh, see, yeah, it's giving me stuff from this world. I got chopper. I got three point. Oh my God. Did you see all the wins I just got for that? Dude, let's go. Two times wins boost. I'll take that. Then we got chopper again. We got the Null Buckler, we got the Abyssal X, and two times damage boost. Yo, let's go with the boost. Yo, those are sick. Let's go. So let's see everything we just got here. So equip best, uh, we got this bad boy right here. So yeah, it's 26 for the blue one like I thought. So merging two of those together, already gonna be pretty epic. And then I didn't get anything, I don't think anything new here. Was it this one? Ice? No, it wasn't that one. The Null Buckler is 20,000. And for pets, I think I got a couple pets. We got Choppers. They start out at 430, guys. So those are way better than the money. And I don't think I got anything better than the Chopper. Nope. I got money and Choppers. So these two right here. 
So now you can start to see the stats on those. I would definitely uh, recommend opening up your stuff once you unlock the new worlds, guys. It's just a little tip from me to you to help you get progressed in the game. So it's a pretty standard update in the end. Uh, it's just more of the same stuff to grind, but it does give us a chance to actually grind and get stronger in this world before the next one comes out, which is the fire world. And I think there's a bunch of other features planned for the game. I don't know what they are, unfortunately, but hopefully it brings the game mechanics together so it's not completely AFK and we have some stuff to actually interact with during the grind sessions, guys. So that's it. Unlocking the chaos world, showing you my current power and keep on grinding to get stronger and stronger. So that's all I have for today, guys. Thank you for sticking with me. And remember, until next time, stay positive, keep swinging and have a great rest of your day. Bye bye.